Hey everybody, Darren Slaughter here with DarrenSlaughter.com and today I want to talk to you about pricing and the title of this post is how the Tour de France or what the Tour de France can teach you about pricing. Now obviously I'm sure you can tell by these videos um, I don't look like one but back in the day I used to cycle a lot. So I, I used to do cycling a lot. So I enjoy watching the Tour de France um, in July. So, you know, I'll even go so far as to tape it on the DVR and watch it um, at night or what have you. But I saw an interesting offer that they had, and it was from NBC 10 and the channel and Versus, the channel um, Versus and the Tour de France. And that was for 30 bucks, 29.95, you could watch every minute of the Tour de France from beginning to end um, from the minute they take off on July, I think they, they started July 2nd or July 3rd um, until the end of the race. And I thought, well, okay, that's great. But if we're now seven, or I think we're on stage nine, and they're still on TV pushing that $29.95 package, and you're pretty much a third of the way through the race. So I have to imagine that if people haven't bought that package yet, they're not going to buy it. But there's a couple things. Um, if you don't know anything about the Tour de France, there's races inside of the race. There's races for sprinters. There's when they get into the mountains and they spend all day climbing these huge, gigantic mountains in the Pyrenees and the Alps. Um, there, there are huge battles taking place and a lot of strategy and things like that. And, and it's really great to, to watch. Um, I understand maybe you're not into that, but, but just stick with me here for a second. If versus and and NBC and the tour took a little bit of a, a, a next step and realized, hey, you know what? People may not want to shell out 30 bucks to watch everything, but they'll spend 10 bucks to watch all of the mountain stages, or they'll spend five bucks to watch all of the sprinter stages. They might have had a much better take rate. Now, obviously, we're in the middle of the race. Nobody has any idea what the what their 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 numbers are but to be still on when you're a third of the way through the race and you're still pushing a thirty dollar product and you're only going to get two thirds of it um, they're not getting they're not getting the buy-in that they could be um, so the point that to you is is while you may have one price for this particular part of your business whether it be a service side or or, or um, product side it doesn't hurt you to have other offerings. And you use those other offerings to either upsell or cross-sell other products or services inside your organization. So, you know, for you guys out there that are closing two and three out of ten of your proposals, maybe if you offered somebody, if you offered those people alternatives, uh, your take rate would improve. Now, you don't have to do it for everybody. You could just do it for... You know, all the people over the last three months who have not gotten back to you, who have told you no, if you sent them, if you got in touch with them and, and said, listen, I understand it may be high, it may be this, that may be whatever, fill in the blank. If I sent you a couple other ideas with a couple other prices, would you be interested in taking a look? I guarantee you somebody will say yes. And I guarantee you that somebody may even say, yes, let's do it. So... If you're not closing the right way, take a little, take a lesson from the Tour de France and versus and NBC, and don't price it for everybody. Price it for the people that are ready to buy and want to buy exactly what you're selling. That's it. Have a good day.